A radar positioned near the Air Force Base at A is used to track an airplane flying vertically in a loop as shown in the figure. At the location when the airplane passes through point B, its speed is 150 meters per second and is speeding up at the rate of 250 meters per second square. And theta equals tangent negative 1 of 3 over 4. This is the schematic diagram. We have an airplane flying vertically following a curvilinear path. The aircraft has a normal and tangential coordinate. At the same time, the aircraft is tracked by a radar on the ground. So when the aircraft is at point B, the radar detects the aircraft with an angle of theta, with a horizontal distance of 800 meters. Based on this situation, we are asked to determine A, the velocity of the airplane, B, the acceleration of the airplane, and C, the recorded value of R dot, R double dot, theta dot, and theta double dot by the radar. The velocity of the airplane can be taken directly from the problem. It is stated that when the airplane passes through point B, its speed is 150 meters per second. From the diagram, we know that the direction of airplane at B is in the tangential direction, UT. So the velocity at B in vector equals to 150 UT meter per second, where UT is the unit vector in the tangential direction. Question B. The acceleration of the airplane. Now let's see the acceleration of the airplane at B in the normal and tangential coordinate. In the normal and tangential coordinate, the acceleration of aircraft at B has two components. One is the tangential component and the other one is normal component. The tangential component is taken from the problem. At B, the aircraft is speeding up at the rate of 250 meters per second square. The acceleration in the normal direction can be calculated using this formula, ABN equal to VB square over rho. To know more about this formula in the tangential and normal components, you can open your lecture slide, page 1142. Putting the value of VB and rho, we can obtain the acceleration of airplane at point B, which is 11.25 meter per second square. In vector form, the vector acceleration at B, AB, equals 250 UT plus 11.25 UN meter per second square. Question C. The recorded values of R dot, R double dot, theta dot, and theta double dot by the radar. To answer all these questions, we are going to focus on the position of the airplane relative to the radar on the ground. For this, we are going to use R theta coordinate system. R is the vector distance from the radar to the airplane, and theta is the angle for the vector R with horizontal. We have from A velocity at B of the airplane equal to 150 UT meter per second. In the R theta coordinate system, this velocity can be decomposed into R and theta direction. In the R direction, the component of V is VR, and in the theta direction, the component of V is V theta. So we can say that VB equals to 150 sin theta UR plus 150 cosine theta U theta meter per second, where UR is the unit vector in the R direction and U theta is the unit vector in the theta direction. Putting the values inside the equation, VB equal to 90 UR plus 120 U theta meter per second. From the theory for the R theta coordinate system, we have VB equals to R dot UR plus R theta dot U theta. 
This expression of VB, if you want to know further, you can see page 1145 of the lecture slide. There you will see how to obtain the radial and transverse component of a velocity. We have two equations to express VB. Both contains UR and U theta. It means the component of UR must be the same for both equations, and the component of U theta must also be the same for both equations. From the components of UR, we can obtain directly that R dot equal to 90 meter per second. From the component of U theta, we have R theta dot equal to 120 meter per second or theta dot equal to 120 over r meter per second. The values of r we can obtain knowing the horizontal direction from a to b is 800 and knowing the angle theta, which means r equal to 800 meter over cosine theta or r equals to 1000 meters. Hence, we obtain the value of theta dot equals 0 0.12 radian per second. Theta dot is the angular velocity, sometimes we call it omega. The value of this angular velocity is positive, so it means we have counterclockwise. Now we are going to try to find r double dot and theta double dot. For that, we are going to start with the expression of acceleration in the r theta coordinate system. A is ar ur plus a theta u theta. Previously, we have A is ABTUT plus ABNUN. We will need to project these two vectors in the R theta direction. For ABT, we will have two projections. One is in the R direction, one in theta direction. ABN also will have two projections, one in the R direction and one in theta direction. Projection in the R direction, ABN cosine theta plus ABT sine theta. In the theta direction, we are going to have ABT cosine theta minus ABN sine theta. From the theoretical part, we have the acceleration in the radial and transverse coordinate system can be written like this. R double dot minus R theta dot square UR plus R theta double dot plus 2 R dot theta dot U theta. If you want to know further about this radial and transverse component of acceleration, you can go to page 1145 of the lecture slide. It means we have the expression of acceleration in two equations, both consisting of UR and U theta. It means the component in UR must be the same and the component in U theta must be the same. UR direction, we have ABN cos theta plus ABT sin theta equal to R double dot minus R theta dot square. Putting the values, we obtain R double dot equals 173.4 meter per second square. Now we see the component of U theta. We have ABT cosine theta minus ABN sine theta equals R theta double dot plus 2 R dot theta dot. Putting the known values in this equation, we can obtain theta double dot equal to 0 0.17 radian per second square. It is positive. So it is directed counterclockwise.